the interesting thing about all of this stuff we see with the far left is that it is what I, I would call like the, um, in terms of a weapon, if you were to like create an analogy, it's a blunt object. Yeah. Whereas the extremist stuff we normally see with like mass shooters is like a knife. The, the way I, what I mean by that is you attack someone with a knife, you're, you're going to end them really quickly. Yeah. And it's like a high, you know. Uh, it's intense. It's in, Yeah, right. And a blunt object is slow. And if you hit someone with a bat once, they might just run away. So you can you can theoretically hit a thousand people with a baseball bat over the course of a month and it won't make the news. Nobody cares. You run up to somebody and stab them, it's going to be front page on the lo- local news. You do it to several people, it'll be major news. And so what ends up happening is you have these terror attacks where the mainstream media sees it and rightly so goes like, whoa, this dude ran into a room with a gun and shot all these people. And then everyone talks about how right wing violence is the most extreme. And it's like, it's certainly a problem. Absolutely. We, we, we got to have the Fed stopping all this stuff. But with the low tier stuff from the left, they do it 100 times more often, but it never makes the news. So it keeps happening. Right. Now, Donald Trump's announced something earlier along in this, along with the press conference where he talked about Kyle Rittenhouse. He says this is from uh, Felicia Sonmez. Felicia is. Washington Post national political reporter, DHS and DOJ are announcing a joint operations center to investigate violent far, a violent left-wing civil unrest, Trump says. Good. Awesome. Yep. So it, it strikes me that it would be much simpler to just say all extremists left and right are bad. Why can't we just do that? Well, apparently now that's what Joe Biden's trying to do. Oh, boy. Wait, let me see if I can find a... Here we go. This is great. Oh, Tyler, uh, and then I'm going to go back to that tweet because there's another funny thing in there. Tyler Pager says, Biden on Trump's presser, I urge the president to join me in saying that while peaceful protest is a right, a necessity, violence is wrong, period. If Donald Trump can't say that, then he is unfit to be president and his preference for more violence, not less, is clear. Yeah, why doesn't he say that, Tim? Take a look at this tweet below. Someone commented, we've reached levels of gaslighting never before thought possible. I couldn't believe this, so I actually pulled it up, and yep, look at Mm -hmm. this. Biden, I condemn violence in Portland, challenge Donald Trump to do the same. Biden condemns violence in Portland and calls on Trump to do the same. Biden condemns Portland violence, says Trump recklessly encouraging it. Wow. Trump is recklessly encouraging it. That's crazy. You You know what was really crazy to me when I saw this? I think this proves that Joe Biden and, and like, Kamala and the Democrats no longer care for politically active people. Like they're straight up saying, if you follow the news and you listen to commentary, we don't want your vote. You know why? Why? Because we've all been listening to Trump scream his head off about ending the violence and having law and order. And they keep blaming him for it, even though it's like, we just had Ted Wheeler of Portland write a letter and say, I do not want your help ending the violence. Yep, yep. And then what did he do the next day? What He did a press conference yeah. where he blamed Donald Trump for not intervening. And if you don't want to help us, get out of our oh, way. Yeah, he said, support us or get or the get hell out, out of the way. way. What, do you, what do you think he tried to do? Goodness. Now, look at this. Look at these sto- stories, man. Here's my favorite one is the Reuters one where it says Biden condemns violence, says Trump recklessly encouraging it. How dare Trump? You know, how dare Trump's staff donate to the... the oh, I'm sorry. This oh, wait, is, this is Biden's staff. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. From Reuters. Biden staff donate to group that pays bail in riot torn Minneapolis. I remember huh. this. Oh, that was Biden's staff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. It was in May. Well, okay. Well, yeah. anyway, it's not like his vice presidential candidate was actively encouraging people to donate to the riot. Like, That'd oh. be silly, Tim. Oh, here's a tweet from, here's a tweet from <laughs> Kamala Harris. If you're able to chip in now to the Minnesota Freedom Fund to help post bail for those protesting on the ground in Minnesota. So wait, wait. <laughs> objection with this okay kamala harris is supposed to be the law and order candidate right yeah so how does this jive with this stupid tweet about donating to the minnesota freedom Fund? you know uh, like you know remember, remember what i mentioned last week like the bugs bunny meme where he's yeah. like just leaning up against the wall with his eyes half closed and yep. he just like raises that's that's how i feel right now <laughs> just like oh yeah you know oh yeah one of these again huh yeah I've this is what this. It, listen i was talking to uh it, <laughs> Wait a minute. Donate, Tim. Why does it? Why does Let's it go do it. to Kamala Harris for the people? Oh, it goes through her. Oh, I see how this works. <laughs> what? Look at is this. Is it Act Blue? Yeah, it is. No kidding. And it says uh, KDH Social Minnesota Freedom Fund ref code, Kimberly but it says Harris. Kamala Harris for the people. Does this? Who does? This, your oh, okay. Okay, it does go to the Minnesota Freedom Fund. Okay, okay. okay. 
Because I'm like, that's kind of weird. I was talking to uh, a family member who said that in the suburbs of Chicago, people are crossing their fingers that Kamala Harris will be a law and order candidate who is going to shut down the extremism. And I just laughed when I heard it. I'm like, dude, the lady is it. so desperately pandering to like the, the far left. You know why I just laughed at this? Do you know what the pro, the, I'm doing air quotes here, protests were in Minnesota? I mean, of course you do. It was people running around burning things down and they're still doing it. Yep. You know, so so who was getting bailed out? Protests. Oh, man. You know what I, th I, I wonder? I think some of these Democrats genuinely believed they were peaceful protests. Maybe at first. I'm not saying I'm not saying the high profile ones. I'm saying there's a bunch of like, you know, you know, uh, dopey. Oh, yeah. You know, not watching the news being like peaceful protests. Yes. Absolutely. Kamala Harris, on the other hand, I bet she's sitting in like a situation room and she's like got a, like a, you know, a scowled face. And she's like, what are they doing? These buildings. Ah, we want their votes. Whatever. Tell me what to tweet. Yes. And she just goes for it. I imagine that's exactly what she does. In fact, I imagine tell me what to do is a lot of what Kamala says, because I don't think she thinks a lot for herself. I, I think mean, that that's, she's I think that she's constantly waiting for I got it. No, you're, I, you're right. But I think it's unfair because Joe Biden is like Joe Biden isn't even able to carry out the commands he's given. You know what I mean? I didn't say this was unique to her. I just <laughs> no, said that I'm, she especially is really. I, 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 I get yeah. it. I get it. Yeah. But but but, uh, you know, Joe Biden. Yeah, that's fair. Man. What you, a dream team. Did you see the clip from the, the Joe Biden presser he did earlier? Yeah. Where he was like. It, it, can you believe that in more than one year uh, w with a hundred year uh, and I'm like what is he saying <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about dude uh. dude anyway so to see this like epic gaslighting man you gotta love it Cernovich responded to her on June 1st saying you are funding domestic terrorism uh huh he got a thousand one hundred retweets yep and someone replied a day ago this aged well indeed it did she did now we got a uh, a, a guy who was killed walking down the street for those that haven't been following the story with um, uh, his, his name was Aaron Danielson, mm -hmm. Trump supporter walking down the street in Portland and it was targeted, this uh, this killing. So I'm sure most of you know by now this story has been ridiculously massive. And it's it's one of the things they asked Trump about in this press conference. The, 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 the woman from CNN said, you know, you want to condemn far left violence, put out your own supporters. The, there were Trump supporters who had paintball guns and stuff like that. Pepper Trump, spray. Pepper spray. Stuff. Yeah, bear mace. That's what he said, yeah. And Trump said, you know, you're paint, paintball, like, uh, look, if they're going to defend themselves from violence, it's very different from the bullets that were used to kill one of, you know, his supporters. Yeah. And it's true, man. Well, first, uh, just just keeping it on Biden before we jump over to the uh, update on Aaron Danielson, we, and we got, we got, we got to talk about the, uh, the, you know, the information that came out from, from a witness. Trump allies challenge Biden's tougher tone on riots, note support for fund bailing out protesters. Hmm. Donald Trump is the most lawless president in American history, said Biden's spokesperson. The last thing I, I, I just want to mention on this, because when I saw that gaslighting, it really did shock me to my core. I was just like, the idea that Joe Biden can for months be like, look, fat, you know, su support the, the protests, peaceful, you know, and Kamala Harris could be like, why don't everybody pitch in? And help, you know, bail out these protesters. <laughs> like to, for her to tweet something like that and then do a complete 180 where now he's it was specifically that he's saying Trump is promoting this when it was literally. It, well, to be fair, I want to make sure I'm very careful in how I say this. Joe Biden did condemn the extreme violence several yes, times. He did. And I respect that. Right. However, his staff has been supporting it. And the underlying protests they've absolutely supported. And almost exclusively, these protests have devolved into some kind of chaos. Yep. Real peaceful protests have been rare here. I've praised them every time they've happened. And typically, they don't get a lot of news coverage. And people complain about it. They're like, Tim, why won't you talk about the fact that a thousand people marched with signs? I'm like, I did. I said it was great. Yeah. And, I, and I said if, if they wanted to sit down and block the road, I would never problem. It's civil disobedience. It's great. But that's not what happened. Like, the, I, 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 What do you want to do? You want me to like talk for a half an hour? A bunch of people walk down the street waving signs. It was great. That's anyway, the problem with peaceful now, protest. It's boring. There's nothing really to report. No one gets hurt. No one gets shot. People just demonstrate and they are civilly disobedient sometimes. But, it, but Not it, even it, that. it can generate positive press. Right. Because it creates a story. The problem is they've escalated everything to a certain degree where, yeah, there's not a lot of news in people walking around waving signs unless it's massive. 
So when this first started, I was thinking that enough, if enough conservatives would get out and peacefully demonstrate that they could make a big difference. But I am not convinced anymore because what, what's the point to peacefully protesting? I, I, th- I mean, I, I think, need an argument here. I think, I think I saw something from Cernovich a moment ago where he was saying, stay home, make money, go vote. Yeah. And I think it's, it's, it's smart because the biggest, the, the thing right, right now that's going to really, really mess up Trump supporters is retaliation. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. So come back to check us out when we go live. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And we are also available on all podcast platforms for free. If you want to listen to us there, thanks for hanging out and we will see you all next time.